opening comments on uh, spring game day? Well, we're just we're, we uh, I think we got a lot done this spring, and uh, coaches' comments after spring games are probably notoriously uh, the same. And but I think we we got a look at a lot of guys we hadn't seen a lot of, and I think we like what we see. I mean, there's a lot of guys that have, have inserted themselves into the discussion for playing time at different positions that hadn't done that before that I think really help us. Are you pleased with the depth that you're seeing right now heading into the We've got a little more depth than we've had in any other year, uh, and uh, we'll have more in the fall. But I'm pleased with the fact that we've been able to get through and, and hit so much this spring uh, because we've had the linemen on offense and defense, and yet we had three of our best defensive ends out of the scrimmage didn't play. Uh, and we had a couple offensive linemen out of the scrimmage. But we have enough guys that we're able to go ahead, and that's, that's, this is a first for that since we've been here. Did you have a number one quarterback going into camp? I'd say it's uh, Kyle and LaSecola. Kyle's probably got a little bit of an edge, but LaSecola, it's very close because I think they've both done a good job, and, and, and Miles is, is working hard to, to, to compete, and, and Chad Basel is going to be somebody that will be in the mix uh, as somebody we can insert in the game as a change of pace and do some different things. But he's, he's finally healthy enough that I think we're going to be able to count on him in fall. What are some things you, feel st you still feel you need to work on going into camp? Well, I mean, we just have so many. I mean, you just... Uh, We've had 12 practices this spring, we, uh, and we have, we have 28 or 27 in the fall. So we've, we've got a lot of work left, a lot of lifting left, and, and we just have to get better at everything we do. I don't think there's any one thing. But we touched on a lot of situ today we touched on a lot of situations that maybe in past few days, because of our depth, we haven't been able to do. And so the game is all about how you handle situations that come right at the end of a game that make a difference. And so we were able to touch on some of those today. So, uh, and we also need to give, uh, I think, uh, a lot of credit to our strength coaches that have gotten us. I think we're in good shape and I think we're strong and, and all those things I think will make, we just got to maintain that over the summer and improve it. And then I think when we come to camp, we'll be where we want to be. Is it going to be a different offense that Spartan fans see in the fall? Hopefully better. We're not trying to be that different. We're trying to be better. I mean, we, we need to run it better. We need to th throw it. We need to score more points, obviously. We need to score a ton more points. And we need to be better on defense. Uh, we need to stop the run better and, against uh, teams in the fourth quarter because we were abysmal at that a year ago. Uh, but we were, we were bad on offense, particularly late in the season in terms of scoring. We need to be much better. And if we can make those improvements in offense and defense, I think it'll it'll help us greatly. Could you, could you address Terry Valley's impact? Well, I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, I think Terry's just done a really good job with our staff and of of uh, coming in as the only new guy. Being the only new guy is really hard because you you you're the only guy that's a different voice in the room, and the way Terry's handled that and and without uh, he's able to be critical without being. Uh, disagreeable or out being uh, uh, argumentative and he's able to to ask questions without being uh, you know difficult and he's he just he's been a perfect fit for us and his uh, his maturity has been made a lot of difference to us I think and just in terms of way he's handled everything and we're we're happy about the way he's handled it he's still looking for the extra three guys that are on the field and where the hell they came from but uh, <laughs> He's he's, accust he's getting accustomed to the game. Do you think that opening with USC will have, make an impact on the off season? Well, I think it already has. I mean, it's not and it's not USC. It's USC Utah. I mean, Utah's as good as anybody in the country. I mean, we're the only team offering open with two BCS champions in college football. So, uh, and then Stanford will be very good, and Cal Poly's a terrific. Uh, uh, football team just ask the University of Wisconsin and so our our non-conference schedule is is as ambitious as anybody in the country has at any level and so I think it if our guys don't take that as an opportunity to get better and feel a, uh, then they're they're being very unrealistic because those uh, teams are outstanding